Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will talk about a new feature in version 38. This feature allows us to automatically add miscellaneous charges to sales and purchase orders based on the unit of measure. For this demonstration, we will use sales order, but the same logic would also apply to purchase orders. First, let's define our auto charges. Navigate to accounts receivable, charges setup, auto charges. And in here, because this charges will be unit of measure specific, this will be line level charges. So in here in the level, let's select line. Let's delete the existing ones and let's create a new one. I will create it for all the customers and for a specific item. Now I define my criteria. So these charges should be applicable to item 0608 when a sales order placed for any customer. Now we add a line. So let's select the charge code. Let's select handling, for example. And under category, we now have two new values, specific unit and specific unit match. Let me demonstrate the specific unit match first. Select that one, select the unit, for example, pallet, and define a charge, let's say $20 per pallet. So we should expect the system to automatically calculate handling fee for $20 per pallet. Now let's save that and let's test it on a sales order. So I'll go and open a list of my sales orders, create a new one, let's say this customer, and let's add that item 0608. In here, we we'll select the quantity of 50 eaches. Okay, so the each is a default sales unit of measure. Now, if you remember, our charges were $20 per pallet, yet our sales order is for 50 eaches. But if we go to financials, maintain charges, we will see our charge code for $20 per pallet. But the question, will it be applicable to that specific sales order? We can check it by going to total screen right here on the top. And we can see that the total charges and the invoice amount, therefore, is $0. So even though there is a miscellaneous charge added to that sales order line, the charge amount is not calculated because we have a different unit of measure on our sales line. One way to apply it would be to modify that miscellaneous charge on the sales order line directly. So I'll go back to it, maintain charges. And in here, instead of specific unit match, I can just say specific unit. In this case, the system will try to convert $20 per pallet to the unit of measure on the sales order line. If it can, it will calculate the miscellaneous charge. If it cannot, it will not. So now we say, let's do the conversion. And if you look at that item and look at unit conversions, we see that one pallet equals to 50 inches. So we know the system should be able to convert pallets to inches. Go back to our sales order and we see that we have an order for 50 inches, which should give us exactly one pallet. So if we click on the totals right now, we should see a miscellaneous charge of $20 being added. That is because the system was able to convert $20 per pallet to the inches. All right, let's close that. Now let's go back to our charge. And what we could do here is switch it back to specific unit match, keep it at $20. And now we'll just change the unit of measure on the sales order line to pallet. I can select pallet here because this is a unit that I can convert to my inventory unit, which is each. Now if we click on the totals, we see that the total $1,000 charge has been calculated. That is because we have 50 pallets multiplied by $20 per pallet. That's very useful addition to an existing auto charge framework. I think that can find several applications in the scenarios where the charge should only be applicable based on the specific unit of measure that is specified on either purchase or sales order line. That is all I wanted to show to you today. Hope you found that video useful. Until the next time, take care.